What's good? It's your boy DJ T Stomp out here with Comp Hits. And recently, Kid Kid sat down with Diverse Mentality, where he recapped his long journey in hip hop and his experience being signed to both Young Money and G Unit. While discussing his time on Young Money, Kid Kid brings up a very interesting point in regards to why Drake, Nicki Minaj, and Tyga were the stars on Young Money and explains why artists like Gutta Gutta, himself, and Lil Twist, for example, didn't see the same mainstream commercial success. Well, one thing I could see. Like, you want forever too. Like from uh, like like people like Tiger, Drake, Nicki, like they came prepared. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, for real, like like they when they when they came to him when like they had they already had like their own publicist management. Fucking, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't like, know that. You I know, didn't know that. Yeah, style is all every like all, they already had their own team. Damn. Already developed, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So they was able to, you know, actually come take advantage of the situation, and you know what mm, I'm saying. I see. Make the most of it, you know what yeah, I mean. From real, like opposed to like people like me and uh, you know, like other artists like Gutter and, and stuff like that. Like you know, we ain't, we didn't even know nothing about all that type of shit. Yeah. At, at one time, you know what that I'm makes saying. Sense, yeah. And uh, you know, all we did was just sat back and rap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. We just sat back and rap. You know what I mean. For real, like we wasn't even thinking about all of that. You know what I mean. If you take a look at Drake, Nicki Minaj, and Tiger's position before Young Money, this makes a lot of sense. In the case of Drake, prior to signing with Young Money, he was already working with a lot of the same people he works with now. Drake signed to Cash Money in 2009, and by that point, he had already released Room for Improvement and Comeback Season. He also did records with mainstream artists like Trey Songs and Lupe Fiasco and was working with production from 40 Frank Dukes and Boy Wanda. At this point, Drake had at least some understanding of the music business and was more or less looking for Wayne to put a battery in his back and take his career to the next level. Nicki Minaj also signed to Cash Money in 2009 and by this point in her career she had already released the Beam Me Up Scotty mixtape which was home to Itty Bitty Piggy which was a big hit at the time. She was also already being managed by Waka Flocka Flame's mom, Deborah Antony. Lastly, Tyga signed to Young Money in 2008. While this was still very early in Tyga's career, Tyga had already released the record Coconut Juice, which made it to 94 on the Billboard Hot 100. He also had a history with Gym Class Heroes prior to signing with Young Money. If you take a look at where all these three artists were at prior to signing, you can come to the conclusion that they all felt they had their own momentum and a team that catered specifically to them. They were just looking for additional tools to get themselves to where they want to be. On the opposite end, you had other artists who could do music and were relying on a label that already had a very big roster to handle the rest of the- What do you guys think? Are there any other reasons that Drake, Nicki Minaj, and Tyga were the most successful artists on the label? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to follow the Comp Hits playlist available on all streaming platforms.